Good cop gets bad cop fired and arrested. Officer David Lance Dukes of the Orangeburg Department of Public Safety responded to a call regarding a man banging on a townhouse door, allegedly with a gun in his waistband. When he arrived on the scene, Officer Dukes immediately drew his gun and ordered 58-year-old oh. disabled man Clarence Gale Yard and his cousin Mario Julian, who were standing in the parking lot outside the townhouse, to the ground. Hey, let me see your hands. But get on the ground! Get on the ground! Oh no! Get on the ground right here! Oh no! Get, get on the ground! You burn yourself! Ah. Get on the ground! I would just like to say it makes me very uncomfortable that the gun is here. It's out of frame, but my producers checked the video and they said this one's clean. So I feel nervous. You probably feel nervous, but I'm riding the anxiety train with you. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Do, do you not listen? Get on the ground! Mr. Galeyard attempts to comply with to Officer Dukes' orders by getting onto his hands and knees, but Officer Dukes forcefully uses his foot <gasps> to attempt to force Mr. Galeyard all oh. the way to the ground, causing his head to violently hit the pavement. Oh, no. In the 1989 case of Graham versus Connor, the Supreme Court explained that the Fourth Amendment requires a police officer's use of force to be quote-unquote reasonable under the circumstances. Damn, this channel's about to turn me into a sovereign citizen. <laughs> include, quote, the severity of the crime at issue, right. whether okay. the suspect He's poses just knocking at the door. threat to the safety of the officer, Officers or others, and whether he is actively resisting arrest or attempting to evade arrest by flight. More recently, in the 2016 case of Armstrong versus Village of Pinehurst, the Fourth Circuit, which includes South Carolina, held that, quote, non-compliance with lawful orders justifies some use of force, but the level of justified force varies based on the risks posed by the resistance. We're fine. This guy's on the ground. Even though they said that he had a, a gun in his waistband, nothing's happening right now. Nobody's being attacked. He's got his hands up right now. Now, we're limited, absolutely limited. However, at the time Officer Duke- Dude, look, guys, this is about to be me at the end of this video. I am not a citizen. Do not call me Bose. That is not my name. <laughs> used force against Mr. Galeyard, it was clear that he did not pose an immediate threat, as he had raised both of his empty hands above his head before getting on his hands and knees. Finally, Mr. Galeyard was not resisting arrest in any way. In fact, he was attempting to comply with Officer Dukes' commands when the force was employed. Under these circumstances, it is highly likely that a court would conclude that Officer Dukes' use of force against Mr. Galeyard was neither justified nor reasonable. Yeah. Is there a there? No. No By that truck. Y'all know if these two men were white, this this officer would have walked up talking about some. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> like, hey, fellas? <laughs> what seems to be the issue? <laughs> no gun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop. Meanwhile, it's black man. Get down! Get down, black man! Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of the gang? <laughs> You're not listening, dude. You're not talking. He's not saying anything either. Bro, you got a gun on you, man? No, I ain't got no gun. Right, I don't want no gun. That, yeah, that's his cell phone. I was looking at that little case. It's a cell phone. I don't want Turn back over. He just Call flipping him around like... I don't know if I be I'm assuming this is our bad cop, because this guy's cop. pretty right, aggro. There it is. Right, that's what he had. This guy. <sighs> Another one off the streets. Like, calm the fuck down, dude. All right, who's the complainant? All right, get up. Get, get him up. Put your leg up. 25 seconds. Got one time. All right, put your leg that way so you can I'm stand up. All right, listen. I'm about to help you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right. Yep. Listen. Yep. They slammed my head Listen. down on yep. the cement. Yep. Go back inside. Uh, Go back in the house. Go back in yep. the house. Ain't nobody talking to you. I got head oh, from him. Go back Didn't in the house. Didn't they make the complaint? Y'all yep. bust my head down. Yeah. I've been in an accident. See, here's the thing too. If you if you look at the side of his arms on the back, you might catch it at some other angles. It was before this too. You can see all the grain and the sand from his arm being pushed into the ground, and now it's it's sticking in him. It's been very forceful. 
I don't think we needed any force here so far. Y'all bust my head down. Please, oh. You threw me down. I sure did. You weren't listening. Yeah. You said I sure no, did. No, me down. Oh, in Louisiana? I'm disability. Okay. I got head problems. Yup. You threw me down. Yup. You threw me down. You threw me down. Man, he's got stuff yep, all over. You bust my head down on the cement. Uh, yep, you bust my head. All right, let me tell you what. That's forehead. You bust my head down on the cement. He was, he was in front of the car when I came up. He was like this. Dude, this is what I love. The energy has shifted with the other officers. They're all here like, what the hell? What happened? How did we get to this point? Now the officer's like, well, I came in and bloods were here. <laughs> like, what, dude, what the fuck? Oh, now no, he's got to hey, explain no, himself. No, 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 no. Where's our good cop? He's over here head. doing something like this. You slammed my head. You slammed my what head. he was doing is putting this up behind it. the tire. Now, it, so it yeah, now right he got to explain himself. Don't nobody trust him. He, he's done this before. I'm sorry, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your Why hands. He wasn't listening. No, it he got the, the like this right here. And we went on to the ground. Look at this. She don't believe shit. Officer Dukes claims that when Mr. Galeyard was walking from behind the white vehicle, he believed that he had a gun and repeatedly told him to drop it. <laughs> Officer Dukes also alleges that once Mr. Galeyard stepped in front of the vehicle, he had his hands in his pockets and repeatedly ignored requests <laughs> to show his hands. However, the body cam footage nope. shows that Mr. Galeyard actually had his hands above his head and that while Officer Dukes repeatedly screamed at Mr. Galeyard to get on the ground, he never asked him to drop a gun or show his hands, likely because Mr. Galeyard's hands were visible throughout the encounter an incident here's the thing if you are in a high adrenaline situation and you are asked to recall something and you don't know take a beat and say you don't know what if there's pieces of it that you know maybe you decide to stop being a piece of shit afterwards you're gonna discredit yourself immediately in the beginning it is okay to say oh my god there was a lot going on and i don't remember that goes for a lot of stuff truly it's okay report filed by corporal brandy smith who was also on the scene states that while mr galliard was walking from the passenger side of the vehicle he appeared to have his hands in his pockets but that once he reached the front of the vehicle he took his hands out of his pockets corporal Smith's report also states that Officer Dukes was giving loud verbal commands for Mr. Galeyard to get on the ground, oh but makes God. no mention of a gun or any commands to drop a gun or show his hands. It's also important to note that when Officer Dukes was reporting what happened, he did not explain the method he used to take Mr. Galeyard down. Corporal Smith's report claimed that when Mr. Galeyard did not get completely on the ground, Officer Dukes pushed him to the ground by placing his right foot on the middle of Mr. Galeyard's back. However, the incident report filed by Sergeant Aquel Polidor states that Officer Dukes, quote, jumped up and stomped Mr. Galeyard on the back of his neck with his foot. Although it is unclear from the body camera Kinda that looks like he did. Dukes' foot landed on Mr. Galeyard's neck or upper back, it is certain that the version of events Officer Dukes explained to his commanding officer did not align with the body camera footage or the reports filed by his colleagues. Discredited instantaneously. You my foot yeah, head. your head did hit the cement. Right, could you... Me down. Where's the complainant? He said, where's the complainant? Like, okay, I need some backup that this guy's a bad guy. I'm in this by myself. I hope it's the people he told to go back inside the house. Where's the complainant? I'm trying to get the name of the complainant. So. What's what are we doing? I guess Sam was going to check him out. There ain't nothing about here on the press charges. Who called? I'm not sure. So you're telling me he didn't know who called, who he's defending, what's going on. He just ran out, guns drawn, and jumped on the black man's back. This guy's stressing. Because he done, he done started all this for not. <laughs> old man's disoriented. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's getting his photos taken. He said, you hurt me. Dude, this officer is stressing. This is still called good cop gets bad cop fired and arrested. Where's our good cop? Where's our all-star? Good, how are you? What's going on? EMTs are here. Oh my God. This cop. What an idiot. He hurt him. You know what? This guy talking about what happened 
it doesn't come off to me as because this is the thing you know how some people are like oh I'm hurt I'm hurt car accidents like officers whatever stuff like that and they're kind of just like playing it up this man genuinely seems injured and in disbelief he's also concussed he could be a little confused and now this cop on the other end is completely silent he out here looking stupid can I get a card for you? I don't have one can I get a card for me? They, they don't give us cards okay what's your badge number? 1059 Oh. Let me see if I can get my phone. Hold on, we 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 have cars. Well, hold on, we have cars. Thank you. When Mr. Julian asks Officer Dukes for Look a business at... card, Officer Dukes what? claims they are not issued cards by their department. However, Sergeant Polidor immediately corrects Officer Dukes, states that they do have cards, and provides Mr. Julian with the information he requested. If it was concluded that Officer Dukes intentionally lied to Mr. Julian in an attempt to avoid accountability <laughs> for his actions, it is possible that he could be convicted of two common law crimes under South Carolina law, obstruction of justice and official misconduct. It's funny that this is the only type of video that can bring us and the Sov sits together. We're enjoying this. We're enjoying the justice right now, but you all know the sovereign citizens are on the other end watching this video right now. Like, I am a national. <laughs> I am not a citizen. <laughs> I am exercising my international right to travel. <laughs> cards did not rise to the same level of misconduct. Given the broad definition of both of these offenses, it is still possible that he could be convicted if charged. However, it is important to note that while some states legally require officers to provide ID to citizens upon request, South Carolina law does not place this obligation on officers. She said, you ain't gonna be out here throwing black folks around. Not on my watch. After Mr. Galeyard was treated by EMS, he and Mr. Julian were allowed to leave. Two days after the incident, Officer Dukes was fired from the Orangeburg Department of Public Safety for violating the department's use of force policies, which, as stated before, are not publicly available. On wow. It was sinful. It was tactful. It was a crowd of people believing the injured man. This guy had his body cam on. God, I just, I love a little justice. And you know what? Our lady there at the end it said, no, we have cards. It was direct and it was graceful. I admire, I, I, man, I implore you, you to be direct and graceful. How nice was that to witness? Mm. Overall, former Orangeburg officer Dukes gets an F for physically assaulting Mr. Gilliard <laughs> for no apparent reason, blatantly for lying physical about assault. the nature of the interaction in his police report, and for making a that was concerted a joke. I just effort want you guys to, to avoid that. being held accountable for his ridiculous antics. Mm. At no point during this encounter was Mr. Dukes in any danger, mm. and it is clear that his violent actions were motivated by his ego, not officer. Nobody thought that was funny? F for physical assault? Nobody? <laughs> I'll just be over here correcting myself. <laughs> And this is exactly mm -hmm. the type of conduct that has sparked nationwide unrest regarding members of law enforcement. Mr. Dukes's feeble attempts to explain his actions mm -hmm. and manipulate the facts of the encounter only add to his incredulous <laughs> and insidious behavior. Feeble his manipulation. Was nothing short of unacceptable. I commend the Orangeburg Department of Public Safety for immediately firing Mr. Dukes and pursuing criminal charges against him. And if there were a lower grade than an. He is a liability. Liability. F, he certainly deserves that. Sergeant Polidor gets an A plus for remaining truthful and objective throughout the encounter, ensuring that Mr. Julian was given the necessary information to follow up on the incident, and for maintaining a calm, collected, and professional attitude throughout the interaction. He was thinking it was gonna be like those, like a cop thing where the, all the buddy cops have each other's back, and he said, I don't have a card. And she said, bitch, we got cards. <laughs> I suspect that Sergeant Polidor was highly involved in the Orangeburg Department's decision to fire and charge Mr. Dukes, oh and the God. testimony that yes. she offered in her incident oh report yes. likely played a vital role what in making certain that he was held accountable for his actions. Officers who witness acts of misconduct are often placed in a position where they must consider whether reporting that misconduct is worth the potential damage oh, to their sorry, career guys, that could arise from pursuing accountability for the actions of their colleagues. And it is all too common to see members of law mm -hmm. enforcement justify the actions of their peers in yep. any way 
way they can to avoid facing the repercussions of speaking out against them. Yep. No As for Mr. Galeyard and Mr. Julian, I cannot rightfully issue a grade to individuals whose actions were purely dictated by the conduct of the officers on the scene. Okay. Nothing the pair did was uncivil, and the two obeyed all the commands of the officers to the best of their ability without it's knowing the context video. of the encounter. It could certainly be argued that both Mr. Galeyard and Mr. Julian were both victims of police misconduct, one by way of physical violence, and the other by an attempt to avoid accountability. It should be noted that Mr. Julian made a legitimate effort to gather then-Officer Dukes' personnel information, presumably in an effort to file a complaint against him, and I commend him for sensing that Mr. Dukes' actions were unlawful and doing what he could to hold him accountable. I enjoyed that!